In this video, I'd like to show you how to add a managed SaaS application into the BitGlass reverse proxy. There are templates built for the major well-known SaaS applications like Office 365, Salesforce, etc. But the power of the BitGlass reverse proxy is in the Ajax virtual machine, a technology unique to BitGlass that allows us to virtualize the interactions between an application and a browser, allowing for a seamless reverse proxy experience for the user. For this demo, I'll show you Smartsheet. This is a SaaS application similar to Microsoft Project or Excel. To add this application, I select Add New Managed App, enter the name of the app, the login URL, and then I select an image for the application logo and the application icon. Now, this is optional, but it makes it look nice. Next, I'm going to add a few more URLs that need to pass through the reverse proxy. In this case, smartsheet.com, which should catch most of the subdomains underneath it. I'm also going to add www.smartsheet.com as well as help.smartsheet.com. So this is just to make sure that traffic from these different URLs um, is sent and received through the reverse proxy. So I click OK here and my custom app configuration has been added. And once I click Save, it's going to create an app policy for me. This is optional, but I'm going to go ahead and add malware protection so that data going up or down from this app can be scanned in real time for malware. Now I click on OK and my policy has been saved. So I'm going to go to that policy page and add a DLP policy for download. I will select a pattern to look for credit card numbers and for an action I'm going to select block. I'm also going to select an alert to admins uh, in case this policy is triggered. By the way, we have a significant number of DLP patterns that are pre-built and that can be used in these policies to cover a wide array of use cases. We also support custom pattern creation that can include or exclude keywords, include or exclude regular expressions, proximity checks between these different fields, and then data validators to help get the correct information into these custom patterns. There's also the capability to validate the pattern prior to applying it with test data. So now let's go back to our Smartsheet DLP policy and we'll click OK to add this policy and save to push our new policy rules out to the reverse proxy. Now let's log into Smartsheets using our portal page. Notice as I connect to the application, my URL is being rewritten so that I'm going through the reverse proxy. And now I'm just going to click around a little bit in the app to make sure everything's working fine and everything's working great through the reverse proxy. So now I'm going to test my DLP policy. This file clearly has credit card numbers in it, so I'm going to export it to Excel. And it looks like the download is successful, but when I open the Excel file, I see the message that my download was blocked due to policy. So that's exactly what I expected to happen with my DLP rules. Now let's go back to the admin console and check out the logs generated from our demo. I see an alert here, and if I click on the alert, I go to a suspicious usage data. Now I'm going to click on event details, and I go to this investigations page where I see location and other reporting on DLP violations. Clicking on the event, within the event log, I see lots of information about user, IP address, location, file, URL, and really all the forensic data I need to investigate this. So that's how easy it is to secure an application, any application, through the BitGlass reverse proxy. Thanks for watching.